Hi guys, now we are going to study the operation of the transformer by considering the winding resistance. Okay, so for this we are considering the basic magnetic core like this. Okay, so to which a winding is like this. Generally a winding which is connected to source is called primary winding and a winding which is connected to load is called secondary winding. Okay. So, this is having let us say n1 number of turns and this winding is having n2 number of turns. So, let us assume. And one more thing is let us assume that this primary winding is having a resistance R1 like this. Okay. So, a voltage source is connected like this and the secondary winding is having, let us say the winding resistance is R2. Okay. So, this winding is connected to load. Like this. Okay, whenever voltage is given in the primary winding, so here V is the V1 is the voltage. So some amount of EMF, let us say E1 will induces, okay, which results in production of flux in the magnetic core. And now what happens is this flux will links with the secondary winding. Okay, flux will links with the secondary winding, which results in production of induced EMF E2 in the secondary coil. Now, a voltage V2 appears across the load. Let us assume I2 is the current flowing through secondary winding and I1 is the current flowing through primary winding. Here what we are doing is we are neglecting no load component of current just for our convenience. What is I naught? I naught is equal to I mu plus I w magnetizing component of current plus iron loss component of current. Actually this I naught is 5 to 8 percent of full load current. 5 to 8 percent of full load current. So, what we are doing is we are neglecting this I naught just for our convenience. Okay. And here I am writing the voltage equation for the primary winding that is V1 is equal to minus E1 plus minus E1 plus what is the current in the primary winding I1 and resistance is R1. V1 is equal to I1 R1 minus E1. Okay. Now, the voltage equation in the secondary winding is the EMF induced E2 is equal to E2 is equal to V2 plus this is R1 V2 plus I2 into R2 where R2 is the secondary winding resistance and I2 is the current flowing through secondary winding. So, let us say what are power losses? Power losses are also called copper losses. Okay. So, power losses are also called copper losses which is equal to I square R. Okay. I square R. Now, the total losses in the winding total losses in the transformer will be losses in the primary winding and losses in the secondary winding. That is I1 square R1 plus I2 square R2. Okay. This is the total copper losses in the transformer. Okay. Now, what we will do is, we will transfer either 
secondary resistance to primary side or primary resistance to secondary side. Okay, we will consider the entire resistance at only one side, either primary side or secondary side. Okay, so here what we have to do is, let us say if you want to find the, if you want to transfer the secondary winding resistance to primary resistance, there is some process. So, that process of transferring resistance from one side to another side is called referring. Okay. So, process of transferring resistance. Transferring resistance from one side to another side. One side to another side is called what? Referring. Okay. So, one condition is there while uh, uh, transferring the resistance from one side to another side. That is copper losses in the windings must be, copper losses in the resistance must be maintained constant. Okay. The only the condition is. Copper losses in the resistance must be maintained constant. Okay. So, the copper losses in the resistance before transfer is equal to copper losses in the resistance after transfer. Okay, the thing is Cu losses, copper losses in resistance before transfer is equal to after transfer okay this is the condition we have to keep in your mind after transfer okay so now what we are doing is we are transferring we are transferring secondary resistance secondary resistance to to primary side okay we are transferring secondary resistance to primary side okay secondary resistance to primary side in the sense so here this is so whenever transferring secondary resistance to primary side let us consider that is r2 dash r2 dash okay now here what we are doing is we are transferring secondary resistance to primary side okay now for that see here for that what is what is the losses in the secondary side i2 square into r2 i2 square into r2 is equal to i1 square into what is the resistance r2 dash so, R2 dash is the secondary resistance on primary side. Secondary resistance on primary side. So, from that we can write R2 dash is equal to R2 dash is equal to this is the secondary resistance with respect to primary side. R2 dash is equal to what is R2 dash? I2 square into R2, I2 square into R2 by I1 square. Okay. What is this one? This is the secondary resistance with respect to primary side. Okay. So, we have transformation ratio R2 dash is equal to R2 by I1 square by I2 square. So, we can write this one as R2 by K square where K is the transformation ratio k is the transformation ratio okay see what is r2 dash 
R2 dash is equal to R2 by K square. Okay. This is the case when we transfer the secondary resistance to secondary resistance to which side? Primary side. Okay. Now, the thing is, what we are going to do is, we are going to transfer primary resistance to secondary side. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, primary to secondary. Primary to secondary. In the sense, secondary side, we have only the resistance R2. So, now, R1 dash is the primary resistance with respect to secondary side. Okay. So, I1 square R1 I1 square R1 is the copper loss in the primary side. Now, we are transferring this resistance to secondary side that is I2 square into R1 dash I2 square into R1 dash. So, from the above equation, we can write R1 dash. R1 dash is the primary resistance with respect to secondary side. Primary resistance with respect to secondary side. That is I1 square by I2 square. I1 square by I2 square into R1. I1 square by I2 square into R1. So, that is equal to R1 dash is equal to K square into R1. Okay. This is the primary resistance with respect to secondary side and this one is the secondary resistance with respect to primary side. Okay. Whenever the total resistance is transferred to primary side, what will be the total resistance? Whenever the total resistance is transferred to primary side, let us consider, see here, I am writing here, total resistance, transferred to primary side. So, total resistance transferred to primary side in the sense, let us consider R01 is the total resistance. That is R1 plus R2 dash. R1 plus R2 dash which is equal to R1 plus, what is R2 dash? R2 dash is equal to R2 by K square. This is the total resistance transferred to primary side. Total resistance transferred to primary side. Now, what are the total copper losses in the primary winding? That is I1 square into R01. What is I1 square into R01? Total, total copper losses. Total copper losses. Whenever the total resistance is transferred to primary, these are the total copper losses. Okay. Now, whenever the entire resistance is transferred to secondary side, entire resistance is transferred to secondary side. So, then we will consider the resistance as R02. R02 is equal to R2 plus R1 dash which is equal to R2 plus K square into R1. R2 plus K square into R1. So, the total copper loss at the secondary side is I2 square into R02. Okay. This is the study of transformer by considering the resistance of the transformer binding. Thank you.